First of all, I want to thank our fans. They were incredible tonight. Our student body, my people are just the best, man. And uh, I always say when you have a home court advantage, uh, it's a 10 point uh, plus on your side. And, and we needed all 10 of them tonight uh, from them. So, so thankful for that. Blessed to be able to be here and, and coach this group. And um, man, just everything that's going on around uh, our athletic program, volleyball, with the sweep of Texas the other night. Like, man, how great is that in football tomorrow? I, I'm just so fired up to be here. Uh, thankful for the win tonight. Um, I thought we played about 12 minutes the way we are capable of playing and we want to play. It was eight in the first half and four in the second half. And so now we, we can grow from there. And so, um, uh, you know, just uh, a lot of work that we still have to do, but we're gonna, we're gonna forge ahead. Uh, first half, I think you guys got up to 1.5 points per possession with all the shots you were making. What do you think you guys did best in that area? Uh, well, we got paint touches, right? We reversed the ball quickly and was able to drive. They, they, are, they do an, a terrific job of guarding blocks and elbows, right? And, uh, but if you can make them go side to side quickly, they're driving lanes. And when we got there, we were able to make plays for people, right? And so that, we did that in the first half um, for the most part. Uh, there were 19 possessions where we got a paint touch and a, and a bucket, or, well, or a pass for a bucket, 19 possessions. Problem is we had 15 possessions where we never got a paint touch at all. And sometimes when you start making shots, you start thinking, oh, well, I'm, I can take this shot. And they'll, they'll give you that first shot because they have rebounding position. And so we had to stay away from that. We didn't stay away from it enough in the second half. With Arthur, what do you think he can do to be a little bit more efficient when he's got the ball? Buy in. Buy in. Slower paced game. I think it was only 33 in the first half. Is there a benefit for you guys to play all these different styles that you'll see this year? Yeah, you know, the great thing about these guys, uh, man, so well coached, a veteran, right? And uh, they've got a toughness and a physicality about them that they they deliver both on offense and defense extremely physical on offense and so you can't relax they will grind you for 25 seconds and as soon as you relax in the last five seconds they're gonna get a shot or get a back door and so it makes you have to focus for the whole possession which then uh, if you can do that possession on possession on possession uh, it, you're gonna grow as a team and and become better it's when we relaxed and I said we did it for eight minutes in the first half and we did it for four minutes in the second half and so we got a lot of growth to do from there but this was a terrific game they're a great team coach does an unbelievable job and uh, it, it was a big time win for us what can you say about day day Ames man he's he's from Chicago right he's Chicago tough and uh, he wasn't pleased with his performance, you know, in Vegas. And it wasn't fair for him or anybody to judge him on that performance. I mean, a year ago this time, he was playing against Simeon, right? And now he's going to win against arguably the best backcourt in the country at USC on a neutral site. And, um, but he came in the gym and he worked and, and he didn't hang his head. And he said, hey, I, I'm going to show I can play. And I mean, that's why he's here, because he can play. Tyler mentioned he, he thought that he was a gem. Do you feel like you got a gem with Day Day? Oh, man, yeah, he's, uh, I'm telling you, the first time I went to Kentwood and watched him, a guy on the side, and this is while I was not here, a guy on the side said, Coach, that young fella right there is Nick Van Exel. I was like, really? And so I started paying attention to him, and, uh, and I started recruiting him personally. Right, I didn't. I wasn't recruiting him for any particular school. I was. I was recruiting him personally. And so when I got the job, he was. I think the first phone call I made, made on Sunday um, to let him know. And uh, I, I'm so thankful to have him. And he's going to have a terrific career here. You guys shot 33 three pointers against USC, 31 tonight. Do you want to see that number go down, or is that just kind of what happens with the new five out offense? Uh, okay. It's n not necessarily about the number, it's just the quality of shots. And I thought um, every team's gonna be a little bit different that you play against, and it's basically what the defense is gonna give you. And we just, in the, in the second half, I think in the first media, uh, we had taken seven shots and six of them were threes, and none of them were a paint touch. 
right? And so those are the one, things we have to stay away from. And it's the kind of shots we're getting rather than whether it's a three or a two. Have you wondered what's what will happen if you ever get Cam and Tyler going in the same half? I, I hope we find that out in March, right? Like, so I, I'm not, not concerned about, like, everybody clicking right now, um, just enough clicking, and, and our defense has got to get better. So, I, I'm, I mean, I know these guys can make shots. I tell you, we got, we got shooting drills we do, and we have a standard for them, and these guys have consistently blown the standard away. And so I know we can shoot the basketball when we take the right shots, uh, but our defense has to get better. We can't allow teams to shoot 48%, and USC was like 50-something percent. We can't, can't do that. And we lost the paint touch battle today also. I mean, they had more paint points than we did. So we, we got a lot of work to do. What was the issue defensively, do you think? Just We relaxed. Like we, Right now, we only have the ability to play about 12, maybe 15 minutes the way we want to play. And part of that is conditioning, and part of that is focus, and part of that is maturity, and there's a bunch that goes into it. And so, um, you know, we're going to continue to um, we're going to continue to to uh, pound this thing and to make it into what we want it to be. Uh, Coach uh, Cam had 15 points and three steals in the first half. Could you just talk about that half from him? Uh, yeah, it was it was good. I mean, <laughs> you know, I, I don't think he was pleased with the way he played. Uh, in the USC game, I, I was, uh, he was a little more locked in defensively and now we just got to get him to be able to do that for 30 minutes a game rather than, you know, the, what, 12 that he played in the first half. Coach, you've seen a really long athletic team in USC. You've seen a really sound, pesky team tonight. What, what does South Dakota State bring to the table? <laughs> uh, just all kind of problems. They are veteran team they picked to win their league an NCAA tournament team I mean well coached they can they can shoot it they they have one-on-one -on -one players I mean it, it's like every every game there's a new challenge right and um, and so I'm excited to see how we respond uh, you know tonight are they gonna do what they need to do to prepare so we can prepare to win and uh, you know and so the next couple of days Really, we'll, we'll, we'll see the leadership and maturity of the team. What is your preparation schedule between now and then? Um, well, for the players, we want them to go to bed tonight and, uh, and have a good meal and, you know, hydrate. And because we have a 10 o'clock practice tomorrow, probably more film than anything else. And then Sunday, we're going to get after it some. And then, you know, we play on Monday. So. It's good to see you. Thanks for showing up this time. Uh, what would Tom Hodge and McCaleb? Is there something you need to do better in practice coming up for this game to see the court? Nah, um, and you know, you just, we, we got, we got every guy on our roster can play in the Big 12. And, um, but it's hard. Uh, like the USC game, we played 25 lineups. And um, you just can't get any continuity or consistency with that guys can't get into a rhythm. So it was just a decision by the coaching staff that, you know, we're going to play these certain guys and see what kind of rhythm we can get. And, you know, then we'll come back and practice and get after it. And it's nothing that any one of those guys did, did wrong. It's just um, what we feel we got to do to give us an opportunity to, to win right now.